Okay, we have our database structure all set up, and we have test data for listings, tags, and users seeded into it. What we need to do now is install and configure a few packages that we'll use in the job board application. That first one is Laravel Breeze. If we take a look at the documentation for it on Laravel's website, it's described as a minimal, simple implementation of Laravel's authentication features. It includes login, registration, password resets, email verification, and password confirmation all out of the box. The best part about this is that it also includes views and markup for each of these items powered by Tailwind CSS and Blade components, both of which we'll utilize from the Breeze package when we start work on our main application. Let's get started with the installation. First step, let's head to our app and open up the terminal. Then run Composer Require Laravel Breeze with the dev flag. After that finishes up, we need to run Artisan Breeze install, which will publish all of the views, routes, controllers, and resources that Breeze requires. That finished quickly, and then requires us to install and compile the assets with npm. npm install and npm run dev. Okay, if we head back to our browser and refresh our application, you can see now there's login and register links in the top right. These are added in automatically to the default welcome view by Laravel Breeze, which means that our installation went through successfully. We can click on login and see the login screen. We can click on register and see the registration screen. And we can even add information into this form and proceed with registration without having to add anything else ourselves to the application's code base. After authentication, we are brought to this dashboard view telling us that we're logged in. Now that we have Laravel Breeze installed, there's a couple of things that we need to change. First, we need to get rid of the registration flow. On our job board, a user only exists to post listings to the site, so registration will be handled by the form that creates a new job listing. In order to get rid of that, we can just open up the routes auth file that Breeze provided and remove the two register routes here. We'll also go ahead and remove the email verification routes as well, since we are not handling that in our application for now. While you could include it, I'm just going to assume that the person purchasing and creating a listing on the job board has typed in the correct email address. And lastly, we can get rid of the three auth controllers associated with email verification. All right, that should do it. Refreshing our browser, we can see that the register link has also been removed since registering a user with the Breeze package has been disabled. Our next package that we need to install is Laravel Cashier specifically the package that uses Stripe as the payment processor. Heading over to the documentation, Cashier is described as an expressive, fluent interface to Stripe subscription billing services. Now while subscriptions are Cashier's main focus, you can still make single charges with it, and in my opinion it acts as a wonderfully simple wrapper for processing payments with Stripe. To install it, let's open up a terminal window again, and run Composer Require Laravel Cashier. Once that finishes up, we'll need to run Artisan Migrate to populate the database with some needed tables. And then we'll need to add this Laravel Cashier billable trait to the user model. Use Laravel Cashier Billable and tack it on after Notifiable. Finally, we'll need to set some API key values in our .env file to associate Cashier with the correct Stripe account. Stripe underscore key 
and stripe underscore secret. We'll set those in just a moment, but first let's get our last package out of the way, and that's going to be parse down extra. Parse down is a well-known PHP extension for parsing markdown syntax into HTML. Parse down extra does the same, but it uses the markdown extra extension, which provides additional goodies like adding classes to your elements. All we'll need to do is open up the terminal and run composer require irusev parse down extra. All right, back to the Stripe API keys. First, let's head to the Stripe website and either sign in or create an account if you don't have one yet. Once you're on the dashboard, you're going to navigate over to the Developers section in the left-hand sidebar. After that, click on the API Keys link and you'll be presented with two items under the Standard Keys section, a public, publishable key and a secret key. We'll need both of those, so first, copy the publishable key and paste that under the Stripe key item in your .env file. Then copy the secret key and paste it under Stripe secret. Save, and we're all set. Next up, we're going to scaffold out and develop the landing page of our job board.